Uh, not to get in y'all pocket or nothing, but how do you guys get paid when selling beats, publishing, leasing, straight payout, etc.? Uh, that's a good question. Yeah, that's a, that's a super uh, good and legit question. Yeah, so, you know, I can answer that without you being in my pockets. Uh, publishing, and then a lot of times you get up front. So I did a song with Chris Brown and this other artist. I got it up front. I get money on the back end. Yeah. Pretty much how it works. Uh, neither one of us leases beats, though. Yeah. yeah, we don't sell beats on the internet. To, to a lot of people's surprise, and I'm surprised at the surprise. Yeah, because people hit me up all the time, yo, how can I get that beat? I'm like, oh, uh, thanks for your interest. Unfortunately, I don't sell beats on the internet. People are like, what do you mean? What do you mean? How, how do you make money off of beats? Right. <laughs> I feel like uh, I get placements, and I do other stuff. So that's kind of the only thing I do. Yeah, it's so weird, because it's like, I mean, I get it, because I, 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 I'm on the cusp. I, I'm old enough to know about the placement and, like, just working in the studio, but I'm also a sound click kid. You know what I mean? Yeah. I grew up on sound click when Kane beats and uh, B major. It's so crazy how all of them are, like, popping there, too. Like, we all kind of, Johnny Giuliano, all these people, when the very beginning, I was on sound click then. I was a top person. I was in those kind of ranks with those people. Nice. But it just, I didn't, I didn't like how that business went. So it wasn't for me, so I just got out of it. So you had a different call then. Yeah, for me, I always wanted to be a, I want to get a Grammy. That's what I look for. You know, and my goal is Grammys and placements and working with certain artists is what my goals are. Now, it's not really about the money for me. And I feel like if you're leasing beats, it's more about the money, not the art, kind of. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. it's rare that you see people that lease beats where you get the feeling that they're trying to up their brand versus that. them trying to make money. I'd rather make money on other stuff and then do the music freely. Yeah. Then try to make all the money off music, if that makes sense. It does make sense. Perfect sense, actually. Uh, contracts all the way? Facts. You gotta mm -hmm. keep that. <laughs> American musical? Facts. Man, what y'all know about that payment plan? <laughs> hey, man. Listen, hey, man. I definitely, man, look, sometimes you don't want to drop a thousand dollars on an uh, interface, bro. Yeah. Sometimes you want to pay that money in $300 increment. Yeah, you're like, let me just show this <laughs> on out to you real hey, even. Right. I know these paychecks come in uh, frequently. I, I don't want to. I did that. Um, I've only done that once in my mm -hmm. life. I did I did that two years ago. I regretted it, though. Really? Yeah, because I was annoyed when I saw the payments come in. I like, the it. payment request. I'm like, I should have just bought the whole thing. Right. I, but back in the day, mm -hmm. like when I got my first MP, I should have been doing that. Like, my first NPC, I got my first credit card of $1,000. I think the NPC was like, at that point, and I maxed it out immediately. And bought an MPC. That's how I got my my two thousand. Right. And um, but back then I didn't know about payment plans. I did the payment plan. So, yeah, but don't fuck up y'all credit I'm trying to fuck up <laughs> no equipment that y'all need. Hey, you ain't be smart with it. Y'all listen to this Jay Z album. He talking about buying houses and shit. I can't wait for the no. second half of this show. Yeah, we're gonna, gonna talk, talk about, about that. Yeah. I got some hot takes, bro. I know. I, I got some. Do. I know. I got some some opinions that are very against the grain. Very unpopular opinion. I stayed off of Twitter today. Our Twitter was going ham. Uh, I, I wanted to wait till I formed my own super solid opinion, and then I was like, uh, like after the show, right. I'm gonna get on Twitter and see what other people are saying. Yeah. Uh, my manager slash friend pretty much has a few connections. Wants to do a deal with the paperwork. Wait, whoa! When he gets fifty percent of what I make from selling beats, Let is me that good? Something. What, uh, let, oh, all right. Before, I'm going to throw the flag on the play. That's a, that's a 15 yard. Oh, no, Easy. baby. What you doing, man? <laughs> oh, damn, baby. You're dancing on a contract, man. Oh, no, man. <laughs> but listen, first of all, Ooh, no. that's super. A, a regular manager that has all the connections is not taking 50%. 15 to 20%. Somebody that's your buddy, your friend, that kind of has a little bit of connections through his sisters, cousins, dogs, groomer, 50%? Oh, no, baby. First thing you got to do is you got to know the prices. Man. You have to know the prices, and that includes percentages, too. Anytime you get into something, know the prices. Otherwise, you'll get robbed. Bruh, if they a new manager, if they was an experienced manager, 20% makes sense because they're going to get you that work. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. they established that connection to where it makes sense that, and they deserve that 20%. And don't get me wrong, people give their people, you know, their percent. It's never been a, as soon as I got a check, 
call my manager. Look, we gotta check. It's been, it's, so it's been times where he really won't even a play that he made. But look, we gotta check. Let's do it. I feel you. I did the same thing with with my uh, lawyer. He's like, oh, do you want to pay? I'm like, nah. Send them both of our payment information. Yeah. We, they, they pay both of us separately. We we because it, it's a team thing. There you go. But fifty percent, bro. Unless he in there making fifty percent of that beat. <laughs> Fifty percent. I'm like, man. Unless y'all married on paper somewhere, <laughs> is, is your friend's name Suge Knight? Yeah. Is asking for a friend. But see that. But you know what? That fifty percent is also a friend. Part. It's my man. Fifty percent. You know what I mean? Yeah. But it doesn't logically make sense. Emotionally, it might make sense. Right. You because that's my dog. We we right. grew up making peanut butter and jelly together. Back. No. Uh. In the stage, what up, man? So, Jay Z's best album, I think. That's kind of early. Whoa, it's that's kind of early. Blend of everything you wanted to hear. That's kind of early. So listen, since <laughs> Josh Jeez. Rose is gonna set it off like that. Woo. Let's um, let's talk about that Jay album. I, I'd, I'd like you to go first. You you got some. And it, me and my brother had a long talk about this. My brother is like a music fanatic, dog historian. He knows album samples, like really into this. Shout out to him. I had a good time hanging out with him. Oh, all the week. He was asking you very random technical questions, right? Oh, you saw us hanging out yeah. by the joint. Yeah, he, he was. It was just nonstop technical questions, but I love it. That, that's him. This J album to me, and this is a hot take, bro. This is a wild hot take. I've only listened to it once. One, I hate that people are saying, you know, this is a classic. Dog, it's been out six hours. You can't tell if it's a classic. In that short time, you really can't embrace the music. You know what I mean? Nobody's listened to it. You you heard it. You haven't sat down with it. It's certain stuff you're gonna pick up, and mm. so I hate when people are like, "Oh, this instant classic." No, bro, this this not, bro. Give me some time. Uh, I gotta monitor these comments. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I, I, I take it. And um, yeah, cause I'm hot taking, bro. Two, the mixes on this album is not that great, bro. I don't know if it's just me. I don't know if I'm tripping. The mixes ain't great. And I hate that his vocals is off in certain spots. It's so, no bounce. Oh, like off beat. It's no bounce to that. So, no records. while he's explaining this, y'all post what y'all think as well, please. But it's no bounce. It's no groove. And the, and the, and the good sides of it, I love what Jay-Z is saying. Jay-Z is shining. His vocals are shining. Production-wise, I just... It hurts me to say, I just want a little bit more. I need a little something else production-wise. And it just seemed rushed to me. I don't know. I got you. Just the nudging, little stuff that I feel like a polished album would have where someone's listening to the vocals and be like, yeah, we need to nudge this a little bit. We need to put a little more reverb. I feel like all that stuff was really rushed. Now, let me ask you this as I make another drink. Do you think that that was intentional or was just a, a oversight because they thought it was cool? I think they thought it was cool, but it really is not. It's like when I hear Rem when Remy Ma won Best Female Rap Artist, I'm like, yo, she doesn't rap on beat. How no. the fuck is she the best artist? Well, she definitely raps like she's reading off the iPhone. And, uh, I, and Jay-Z, I, I love Jay. Don't get me wrong, guys. Let's not get, and there's no, not, no ID slander, but some of the records, he's all fucking beat terribly. He's really off beat, and it bothers me so bad. And I have another random question. Do you think he was originally offbeat? Because I've been in sessions with Jerry before. Do right. you think he was originally offbeat, or they might have nudged him I, in I, another direction? I think they nudged him in another direction. I, and it's such a weird. The drums are. Everything was such a. I'm uh, curious to hear about it. Uh, God, the drums. Know. I'm curious to hear about the drums. They, to me, it was, everything is so stiff that Jay, I feel like Jay didn't know how to really react to it. It's a weird groove. It's not like a temple and bounce where it's like you find a pocket. It's like a very boom bap people with trap drums kind of shit. Mm. And it's kind of weird. I don't know. It didn't... I don't know. But what Jay is saying, don't get me wrong, what Jay is saying, to me, is fire. I love that he's encouraging people to invest and build businesses and, like, he's on that. And right. with everything, his bars is crazy. Very so. Yeah. I just don't wow. think the album is... People saying it's better than Blueprint. I'm like, yo, get the fuck out of well, here. Well, okay, I ain't gonna lie. I, I, I'm, I'm an objective guy, but you can chill out on that shit. Yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy talk. Blueprint is in my top three uh, uh, hip-hop albums in my life. So. I think it's good, but not great. I compare it to American Gangster. I don't hate it. But that's a fair comparison, though, but still, I see where it is, but I'm like, damn. Because out of 13 albums, American Gangster 
It's, 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 it's not it, the greatest, but it's not it's middle of the road. Red. Yeah, very middle of the it's road. It's not Blueprint 3. Ooh, yeah. It's not that. Yeah. But, yeah. That's my hot takes on it. But I do like what he's doing. I do think it's going to make people rap. Fuck. I did not like that. <laughs> I really like that. Okay. I thought you said I did like that. No, no. I loved it. It's like competition. Because I feel like Jay's one of I feel like Jay's gonna make Kanye come out of rap. And I feel like he needs that. He needs somebody to challenge him. I want him to make the general people want to do that, though. Mm-hmm. That's the thing. And I think that'll be the thing for like a week. Because think about it. Like I said, when Kendrick came out, everybody was like, oh, Kendrick's gonna make everybody rap again. Yeah, like, it's gonna last for a hot week. Right. That didn't even last for a hot 24 damn hours. You know what I mean? Like, people like, oh, Kendrick out. Yeah. So, with the Jay Z album, these comments, I know you're about to be crazy. Yeah, I already know. <laughs> they, they about to, uh, hey, hey, sorry, yeah. But listen, my general consensus, I really like the album. That wasn't my general consensus the whole time. And this has been in less than 24 hours. I've gone from here to here. Right. And the reason why it is initially, first of all, I was caught off guard. It kind of knew it was coming out. I had a word right. to know. I didn't know what to expect. Then I heard the No ID thing. No ID is a homie. Shout out to him. So I was really expecting it. So when I first heard the album, I was like, okay. Things stood out to me. The first thing that stood out to me was, I'm like, if people don't like this album, one of the main reasons is going to be because there was not a song that was like, holy shit, did you hear that song? Right. That beat and, the, and it's going to turn up in the club and all that. There wasn't that song. Right. Part of me was looking for that. Right. And I and I didn't get it. But after after going through that, I looked at the album differently. What I wanted from the album. Right. And now what I feel like was I got ten or oh, however many dope ass like Gary V videos or dope <laughs> ass TED talks. Right. Or I feel like I just had ten consultations. Because it makes sense. With me is I'm at a point in my life I need grown man shit. I appreciate sense. turn up music, but I'm not 13. So right. when I want to turn up, it's fine. But when I'm in my regular everyday life, I'm all about investment, inspiration, right. business. That's what I got from this. So I, I need to be well rounded. So that was perfect. The beats, while there wasn't a um, holy shit like yo, know, it's the craziest beat I've ever heard in my life. The beats I thought were dope. In the same way that if you got chips. They go, they go with the salsa. They they don't hold the salsa. Right. That's what the beats were. Cause Jay Z, he, he gave them. This album was all salsa. Right. No idea was like, yo, I got the chips. Don't worry about it. They ain't gonna be chitlin flavored chips. They not gonna right. go shadow the Just salsa. Regular tortilla. Yeah, exactly. They got no lime on them. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Those no uh, obey. No season song. Right. Plus, like like movies. This is one of those albums that you can go back to. You have to go back to several times mm-hmm. to listen. If you're so inclined to right. listen, it's, it's a lot of stuff in there. It's a lot of gems. And the thing is, most of the people in here, you want to aspire to be an affluent person. This is unfiltered thoughts from the mind of an affluent person. Right. So, you know, if you just want to see what the mind of a... a Hundred millionaire is like, it's good to know that, you know what I mean. But it's like reading a book versus watching a movie. The turn up shit is like watching a movie. It's always fun. You're always gonna be in the mood to do it. Reading, you gotta put yourself in a different zone to read. So, Jay Z was like a dope ass TED talk or reading a dope ass book, and um, I would like to hear more of that. See, and those all those issues I agree with. My issues is just the working in the music industry, right, for so long, I know it's like little stuff that you do to take an album from good to great, right? Mm -hmm. It's little, and I feel like they did none of that shit, dog. I feel like, and I feel like back, when I listen to the Black album, I I hear like, that. that's production, dog. That's really thought out. Like, every part of that song is thought out. With this, I don't think so much. And it's certain parts that it's just like, I can't groove to it, dog. I'm more of a, I'm a Timbaland baby. I'm a Neptune's baby. So it's no bounce. bounce. You need to bounce. Dog, that Frank Ocean song, the hook is weak to me. Wait, what song was 
the one that sounds like uh, that Neptune song. It sounds like a Neptune's copy, which really made me mad. It sounds like uh, you don't want my attention, huh? The drums are the same. It's the same drum pattern, bro. And then they got Frank Ocean on it singing. The hook is weak. I didn't really like the Dreams hook. It's like little stuff that I would like Jay's verse, but not the hooks. Uh, okay, was, so it's always like some type of conflict. It was always something in every song where I'm just like, oh, I feel like they didn't try that hard. You know what I mean? Yeah. Which I get, but... So, now, do you feel it was, overs- once again, oversight or intentional? Like, oh, this is, we're going to come out with these cherry flavor hot dogs. This might be a good idea, and it's like, not. I think it's, I'm Jay-Z, and I literally can do whatever the fuck I want, and people are going to buy into it. Because people are saying this is a classic album. And I'm just like, yeah, you can't say this is a classic album without really giving it, a, one, a fair shot. And then, two, like, have you listened to Jay's other albums? It was hard to stay objective because it's Jay-Z. Right. But I will say this. When is the last time somebody is like, I'm coming out with an album this day on midnight, and people are like, oh, I'm going to go listen to it. Are you listening to it? I'm listening that's to incredible. it. That's I, incredible. Michael Jackson, Prince. You know, back in the day, it used to be that, like, for all the big stars, people, like I said, I remember my mom would invite neighbors over to right. her house to listen to the newest Michael Jackson album and everybody right. would listen to it and critique it and all that type of stuff. The fact that that doesn't exist anymore, but Jay-Z and Beyonce can still Do it. garner that type of that's respect incredible. off right. of name alone, that's that's really saying a lot. Right. Now, you only get a certain amount of times where people can be disappointed. But I don't know what the general consensus of this is because I stayed offline today. So I don't yeah. know if people love it or they're disappointed. But you say people saying it's a classic. Oh, no, people are loving it. But okay. I, I just think it's a follower mentality. I see everybody posting the same meme about it. It's not like you listen to the album because it's bars that I heard where I'm like, oh, that's crazy. You know, right. different stuff reach different people. I would listen to a bi- uh, basketball podcast and I'm over here like, yo, these are some life lessons. But my homeboy said he listens to the same shit. It didn't hit him like that. So... The fact that I see everybody posting the same meme, the uh, same... It's like, yo, y'all not... you just following. You're not really giving your own opinion. See, that's... It's weird, bro. That, see, I didn't want to follow into that. Yeah. Track, so I didn't want to even know what mm-hmm. people And I went from, like, uh, sorry, to... After I listened to it for the last time this morning, I was like, I fuck with this album. But I don't fuck with it because I'm like, yo, this album is jamming. Dude. Right. I fuck with it for... Di- like you said, it reaches people in different ways. Yeah. I feel like I got a consultation. Right. I like his message. I love the message. I like with his bars. I just don't like the... And it's... And I heard me say, because I love No ID, bro. I just don't... For me, and this is personal, I just didn't... Production was missing for me. Some parts of it. I felt it could be better. Yeah. I see, I see the direction it was going in. I can't say it didn't land, but there mm-hmm. were a few spots that it might not have landed. Mm-hmm. But for the most part... Conceptually, um, just coming from a production standpoint, I would like to see more things go in that direction. This, right. this could be like an early, right. but more people should get into that. And there are producers that do that. It's still sample based, but the drums are modern. You're right. Now, but with your issue, you're like, it, it, was, it didn't have a bounce on it. it. My issues are like not beat making things, it's not the beats. The beats were jamming too. The beats separately are jamming, and Jay's verses are jamming. It's the combination. It's the, this verse isn't nudge right. It's all that little stuff that, and it might be just me being a DJ, and I hear how, but that stuff irks the fuck out of me, dog. And the first thing my brother said was like, yo, they need to nudge these vocals, dog. And now I can tell you how many taps to nudge these vocals. Five taps to the right, bro. <laughs> Five on Pro Tools to the right. A hundred samples, bro. I honestly think that was intentional. Because, and I'll tell you what. When we were working on Magna Carta, um, there were there was a couple times when it I wasn't like he went off beat, but I'm like, oh, he it's a new style because it wasn't as um, abrasive, I guess you could say, right. as it is on this album. But on Magna Carta, he'd be in the studio, he'd do a joint, and I'm like, that's not a typical J pocket. Right, it's kind of outside of the J pocket. But now you just kind of embrace that that whole thing to the point where he'll they'll just start talking. Eat halfway through a, a damn line. Yeah, I, I can't get with it, bro. It's not it's like when I hear Remy Ma, dog. Remy, and it's not Jay is not as bad as Remy Ma. Remy Ma will rap a whole verse, dog, and she's way ahead of the beat, dog. It's like 
her the delay conversation did not kick in whatsoever. Yeah. She's dog. multitasking. She's trying to read and catch the beat. And it bothers me, dog. And I'm just like, how is she winning awards for this? And she won. Oh, oh, oh right. the, the beat. Well, yeah, she won BT Best Female Artist, and it blew my mind. I'm like, you really think she's better than Nicki Minaj? She's nah, good. Nah. Her bars are great, but her timing, her delivery, it's not that good. Yeah, I don't know what made her better than Nicki uh, Minaj. Uh, other than bars, bars, yeah, but. Yeah, yeah, I mean yeah. bars. She's killing Nikki. Yeah, but Nikki ain't really doing bars. Exactly. So that's the thing. If if you're the push up champ and I don't do push ups, you can't be like y'all can do mad more push ups than you. Of course you can. That's what you do every day. Exactly. So yeah, you didn't win nothing. Oh, I can't wait to see these comments. All right, man. Let's let's, let's get let's scroll through these joints because I can't wait to get to these Jay Z joints. <laughs> we definitely got both of our opinions up. Yeah, I feel better now that I said it, and I know that I have a take against the grain. Mm-hmm. Uh, and this, no, I, I really want to like it though because. I like what he's doing. I like it. Just as the producer in me is like, no, nah, it's not. Yeah. See, I separated myself from it musically. Mm-hmm. I'm not completely because I'm learning to find the things that I like about the things that I might not have liked. Right. Because I like the things that I like. Right. You know what I mean? So I'm like, eh, I get I get two diamonds, and you give me this rusty pebble. For right. Pebble. And I think part of it is that I'm just holding to such a high standard. Because, two, but you should. Calvin Harris drop, right? Calvin, dog, one of the best albums of the year. I thought you were talking about a high, a high standard compared to other Jay-Z projects. Dude, I'm just saying, in general, when I hear Calvin Harris, I hear that the production is so thought out. It's so, like, you can tell they just sit there and listen to a song over and over. Like, oh, this needs to change. This pocket needs to be a little different. Polo style. Dog, it, you, could, you feel it. You know what I mean? It has a certain feel to it. I feel Jay is missing that. And I don't know what it is and why it didn't connect with me. And I might be the only one. I might be tripping. It might be... No, I, I, I doubt if you are. And the crazy thing is, now listen, when I get in my car and I drive around, at least for the next week or two, I'm going to listen to the Jay-Z album in my car. I probably won't listen to it here, but I listen to right. it in my car every time I get in. And the reason for that is when I'm in my car, I don't listen to music. I listen to podcasts. I listen mm-hmm. to hearing right. music. And that is what I get from this. And I'm almost right. to the point where I'm like, yeah, fuck the musical aspect of it. Like, these are some The gems. bars. Yeah. yeah. Just, I feel inspired. And not that it's hard to get me inspired, but I, I try to inspire people. But every now and again, you got to look elsewhere right. for inspiration. Right. I'm like, yeah. he's a guy. He's older than me, obviously. And he's talking about grown man things. Yeah, because that I love. Anybody else I listen to, they talking about feeding the chick pills all night. And I'm like, right. that doesn't inspire me. Right. This inspired me. This could have had no music on it. And it could have just been the words. And I would have been like, I got what I needed out of this. So right. everything else is kind of trivial. Right. Uh, so what would you rate the album? One through ten. Ooh. I got two ratings. I have a five. And I have a nine. You can guess what both of those things are based off of. I, I'm, I'm about right there with you. Yeah. Lyrics and, and bars, oh, it's incredible. For my Gary V inspiration fix, oh, yeah, that's he threw the roof. Uh, for the album compared to everything else that I love, and then I. Bro, I'm, 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 see, we on the same page now. Mm-hmm. We there. Mm-hmm. No such thing as an instant classic. Facts. Yeah. Songs may be been lacking, but the message he sent lyrically was heavy. That's, That's what we were just saying. Yep. That uh, four 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 is crack front to back, no skips. So I don't agree with that. I had a few skips, but hey, I had quite a few skips. And out of ten songs, mm, let me tell you what happened. Okay, so you had skip moments. Yeah. Uh, my wife, because my wife and I, we were both twelve o'clock on. She had a title. I sold the password. I didn't get title. But <laughs> she um. She had moments of checking out. Well, mm-hmm. she was listening to the album, she's doing work, and then she's like, Oh, I heard something, I forgot I was listening to this album, let me go back. I had moments of I'm doing some work, the song was stopped, and I for I just forgot I'm listening to an album. Like, oh yeah, I gotta finish listening to that Jay Z album. That's how it was for me last night from like midnight to three p three AM. It's it's just it's right. those moments. That you have to be tuned in and want to connect with the album to get something from it. It's not something you put on and you're just going to be entertained right. the entire time. No. For me, it's just going to the library. It's not going to the club. And most people want to go to the club and not the library. And I totally 
get that. Mm-hmm. So you know, people are like, yo, this album was terrible. It was it was trash. I'm like, for what you expected, yeah. For what I initially expected, right. yes, yeah. Right. I can say. But like I said, I got I got a book. I feel like I just got a dope right. book, and I'm like, oh, I wasn't looking at it like that. But now I look at it. Now I'm happy with what I got. Right. I was initially upset with. And see, I don't think it's trash. I just think if people again, if people said I was being technical. Dog, this is the best quote unquote rapper on the earth. If I don't if if anybody's supposed to set the bar, I believe it's Jay Z. So the fact that he's not setting the bar, the fact that it's certain stuff that production wise that we can agree with anybody else did. If you hear Beyonce off beat, people would talk about it. If we heard Migos and it was off beat, you wouldn't fuck with it. It's the pocket, it's the vibe. That's what music is all about. So the fact that the top person do we consider the best rapper alive is forgetting these little parts. It worries me in the grand scheme. Of, I think that hurts music just as much as Little Yachty. Yeah. And then, I know that's a hot. I know that's a wild. But I think the fact of what well, sets the tone, like you said, it sets the bar. It, it sets the bar. I feel like the, what I do like about Jay Z is out. He's gonna make people rap. I think some. I think Kanye's gonna be just somewhere so mad right now that he's gonna motherfucking rap because he talked about Kanye and this shit, and yeah. it's Jay-Z, he Kanye went. don't want to be fucking made fun of. I feel like it's going to make Kanye rap. I love that part. That would be dope. Outside of Kanye, though, uh, or mainstream people, oh, yeah, I don't care. <laughs> the, the regular people, yeah. I don't think it's going to make new people yeah. rap, but the people that wanted to rap that were afraid to right. rap, I think this gives them more confidence. Now, most of the time, that's for the worst, but, but I think it gives them more confidence right. to, to rap. You know what I mean? So, yeah, it's, it's a real, yeah. it's a real mixed bag, but um, I don't know. I, I got up, I laced my shoes extra tight this morning because I was, I was feeling a little inspired. He even gave me two moments of Jay-Z talking that Jay-Z shit and being in the oh, yeah. The rest of the time, he was talking that Jay-Z shit, but he was coffee shop talking. Oh, and the video for uh, OJ. Incredible. Have you seen it? No. The cartoon? No. Oh, it's incredible. Not See, those stuff is incredible. It's just, I hate when people have the moment. It's like you being at the Super Bowl, and then you every time you about to get a touchdown, you fumble. Yeah. That's what I feel like. When that Frank Ocean hook comes in, I feel like it's a fumble. I feel like he, they dropped the ball. When I feel like the dream hook comes in, it's a fumble. It's certain when it's off beat, it's a fumble. And that's what fucks me up. It's a good play. It makes sense. Yeah. Yo, I'm gonna tell you something weird. And yeah, we 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 spent like mad time yeah. with this. But I'm gonna tell you something weird. I um after I listened to the album initially for the first time, me and my wife talk about it like we fucking dissecting the paper or something. And I'm like, unfortunately, I listen to the album, I don't remember any of the songs on there. Like I can't hear them when yeah. I think about it. I couldn't remember how they sounded. But I can remember what he talked about on the song. Right. That's when I saw where my shit right. died for that movie. Because I'm like, yeah, how the song? I don't know how that song goes. But, oh, he said this in that song. He said this, and I thought that shit was dope. And, and again, it goes back to, we judging on the poetry and the lyrics. Yo, classic. It's dope. But I ain't going to say classic, but it's dope. We judging for the overall uh, album of what we judge every album about. Yo, we got to be honest. I hate when people act like they can't judge Beyonce. Some Beyonce songs are whack. Let's get it out there. It is. Beyonce some, makes great music, but it's some songs that are whack. Jay-Z makes some whack songs, guys. It's true. And all I'm saying is there's some whack songs. Not whack, but it's some off iffy stuff on certain songs. Yeah. I, 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 I take Triss. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can give you that. I, I definitely give you that. I don't. I don't. Yeah, I don't know. It, it's it's a mixed bag. I think this is for Jay Z fans. Right. If you're not a fan of Jay Z, don't yeah. don't listen. You'll be thoroughly disappointed because there's some Jay Z fans that are disappointed. In facts. But um, I don't think Jay Z has a bar anymore that he raises. I think people just take the bar and they'll put it wherever Jay Z is. Fortunately, he tries. He right. always tries to be up here. But people are like new Jay Z. What happened when you said bars down here? It was dope. He's over the bar. It was dope. Uh, and I, I really feel like it's the internet effect, bro. I mean, I'm oh, yeah. sure it's some people that really fuck with this, and I'm not saying that y'all are not right, but I, I guarantee you, it's so many people who are posting this just because their friends are posting this, and they really don't know. I, I can tell you about Jay Z stuff because I know, man, I can name you B side random Jay Z albums, you know, random song, 
all around the world. To me, incredible song. First of all, as one of the all around the world. I love that sample. That's one of my favorite samples too. See, I'm a fan, bro. I'm a Jay Z fan. So the fact that I'm saying this as a Jay Z fan to me is really like a. It's not like I'm just never like how people talk about Yachty and they don't really. Well, it's not hate. Yeah, it's not a hate. This is just a. So I'm disappointed. I'm just kind of. Damn, man, it could have been better. And it's an easy fix. That's what bothers me. Dog, they could have called me. I would have nudged all the vocals. Jay-Z, no charge, my brother. Just put my name somewhere on this app. I would have nudged every fucking vocal for you, my nigga. You know what's crazy? Me and you have the same gripes about the album, but I don't care about them. Yeah. They, did, they didn't piss me off just because right. I'm like, I, I got this over here. I'm good. Yeah, this see, could I'm, be fucked up over oh, here. Oh, shit. Hold on. 